Monsieur Cedinho is now a manager. After winning the Champions League in the World Cup, Cedinho, at the young age of 26, decided to hang up his boots and take on a new challenge. That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! And that was to become a better manager than Pep Guardiola. As you guys can see, Cedinho tweeting, I'm coming for your crown baldy to Pep Guardiola. Look at that, Cedinho even dresses better than Pep. Obviously, because we were an inexperienced coach, we could only land at the Southampton job, but I'd say we did a stellar job. These guys were a bunch of frauds, and Cedinho got them as high as 13th. I'd say that is as big of an accomplishment as winning a World Cup. It's an ask. But after achieving success with these bunch of frauds, Cedinho has a new job offer. And not just one, but pretty much the entire Premier League wants a piece of Cedinho. And even clubs from Germany. Bro, the list is unbelievable. Almost every top club wants Cedinho to coach them. But if you look back at Cedinho's career, there's one club where he couldn't really make a mark and he was made out to be a bit of a fraud. And that was Manchester United. So Cedinho wants to take on the challenge of going back to Man United and achieving success there. So Cedinho out here is going to apply for a job at Manchester United. Guys, you know what? You might think Cedinho is a bit of a fraud, but, but look at this. Against Southampton, Liverpool never won games, or very rarely won games. Cedinho becomes their manager, and look at that, beating Liverpool at Anfield. So you know, this guy is the real deal even as a manager. The goal for Cedinho is to win the Champions League as a manager. He's done it as a player. He wants to do it as a manager. To do it with his old club, Man United, would be emotional. So we have applied for the United job. Are we going to get it though are they gonna sack eric den Haag for cedinho and looks like he's doing it looks like cedinho is doing it is he gonna sign the contract you bet he is there you go pen to paper cedinho has signed for manchester united as a manager a good season for southampton gets us well, the incredible manchester Malaya, united job you. look at that boy cedinho with his ridiculous hairstyle the suits on there you go managing manchester united incredible Incredible. Well, we're going to win the Champions League this season. Come on. Okay, before we get started with the United job as a manager, the goal is to, of course, win the Champions League. And the good news is Man United last season finished fourth. So we should be in the Champions League next season. Did they, like, win any trophy? Come on, United. No FA Cup. They did win the Carabao Cup, but we don't count that in these streets. And in the Champions League, they got knocked out by Borussia Dortmund. That's embarrassing. Okay, let's see what kind of squad Cedinho is working with. Then first impression. It's okay, a few good players. Ah, okay, I just saw Pedri. I just saw a 93-rated Pedri in this team. What even? But yeah, it could be a lot better, you know. Let me just figure out what the best squad will be like for us. A few moments later. Okay, so this is probably the best team Cedinho scored, apart from, well, this right back. Can we, can we put someone else in? We'll put Hector Bayer in. But this is the team. Anthony, Sancho, and all are decent. Pedri as well. We've got this Calvin Bassi guy at left back who looks unbelievable. But yeah, this team does need a few signings. But with Cedinho coming in as manager, you know the board are going to back one of the greatest players of all time. 422 million, bro! They're giving us the entire fund! What even? Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah. Bro, they're giving us like a country's GDP to spend on everyone. <laughs> what even? You guys know how this works. The goal is to win the Champions League, but we can only play a maximum of one game. So Hopefully, it'll be the Champions League final. Otherwise, yeah, it's, it'll, it'll be a bit of an L. Let's make this team insane. I'm going to spend the entire checkbook to try and get that Champions League for Cedinho as a manager. Got to tell you all this. Cedinho does no ball. We're trying to sign a camp for our team. Martin Odegaard is what Cedinho feels is going to be the right choice. He's been following the Premier League lately, and he knows Odegaard's a bit of a baller. So, we're going to try and sign him. Negotiating with Jurgen Klopp for this one. Look at Cedinho Klopp is shaking to be amongst the World Cup and Champions League winning manager. Oh, okay. Well, well, he's not shaking because he's just kicked us out. Um, um, okay. Okay, guys, we're going again for Erdegaard. This time, 130 million. Klopp better not kick me out now. And now he's willing to do a deal at 136 million. There you go. Pro negotiation from Monsieur Cedinho, the world's, I was going to say world's greatest manager, but we will call him the future goat of management. There you go. And now we negotiate with Martin Erdegaard with that we should have an 89 rated cam. Surely we're building a team that can win the Champions League at this rate. There's no way a player like
like Odegaard doesn't want to play for an esteemed manager, a World Cup and Champions League winner like Cedinho. And there you go. The deal is done. The handshakes and everything is done. Cedinho at his old club is out here signing absolute ballers. There you go. Odegaard walking in. A fantastic new signing. What a player. What a player. A ridiculous price. But hey, it ain't Cedinho's money that's been blown. It's Man United's. It's the Glazer's pockets that Cedinho is using. And so we add Martin Odegaard to the team. And now I'm thinking, what else can we do? Yo, definitely need to improve the back line. Perfect time to sign a player Cedinho has faced multiple times when he was back in League 1 uh, playing in one of the best leagues in the world. And, and now he's about to sign Ashraf Hakimi for 91 million. There you go. We've got Hakimi joining the team of ballers. He believes in Cedinho. He believes in the project. I don't know what the project is, though. I'm just spending all the money we've got here. 91 million for Hakimi. Yo, we're out to getting international management offers, though. This one's from Hungary, but Cedinho is focused with Man United. So there you go. I've put Hakimi into the team, and we probably need another good center back. And I think we've got the team to win the Champions League. We've got 171 million, though, to make that happen. And I'm trying to sign a player I played along with at Bayern Munich, and it's Edem Militao. We're building the super team of ages. There you go. Edem Militao has been signed. Well, not yet. We still need to convince him. But hey, former teammates, we won the Champions League together. Of course, he's going to agree. Who is asking for a hefty sum? But hey, since the money's not mine, you can take the money from the Glazers, Edda. No problem at all. You just got to win me the Champions League. And there you go. Our third blockbuster signing. We're just throwing money to buy the Premier League or the Champions League. We're basically doing what Pep Guardiola does at City. And I think, guys, with that, I'm done with transfers. This team is freaking ridiculous. I will be shocked if we don't win the Champions League with this. And we still have about 60 million. So let's get into the season and see what's up. All right, let's see if Cedinho's Man United is able to win their first three Premier League games or five to win against Fulham. Come on, give me a cheeky dub against Brighton. There you go. 1-0 defensive masterclass. Oh, come on. We lost the new class. Are you kidding me? All right, so we've gotten through the first half of the season and Cedinho is balling out. Top of our Champions League group. Easy. And in the Premier League, we aren't doing too bad, you know. Third, but five losses, which is a bit sus. And that's got me thinking. We're now in January, boys. We can make new signings. How much money have we got? 78 million. Should we swap David De Gea? Because he's a bit of a fraud, isn't he? I think we should. I think we should look to get a new goalkeeper because David De Gea, he ain't filling me with confidence. Let's just say that. Bro, would it be possible to sign literally one of the highest rated and highest potential goalkeepers on FIFA? I don't think we have the money for this, but would a swap deal work? Let's try it out. Let's try and see how much Cedinho's negotiation skills can help him out here. Let's put David De Gea. He's worth only 10 million. This won't be possible. Okay, what if we put Dean Henderson and chuck in about 70 million? What's going to happen here? Oh, they're willing to do it at 77, but that won't work. We need money for his contract. We'll have to counter with 71 so that we've got money to give him a contract. But even that might not be enough. Aye, aye, aye. I think we'll have to sell Dean Henderson and some other players to go in again for Donnarumma. Okay, this kid, Calvin Bassi, has a bit of beef with Cedinho. He wants to leave. Out. He's fired. Okay, fair enough. We've got other left backs. We'll let you leave. That could be the way to generate the extra cash for a keeper. And there you go. Cedinho is saying goodbye to Calvin Bassi, our left back. Hey, he wanted to leave. Nothing much we could do about it. And we sold him for like a good chunk of money. 57 million. Donnarumma, it's time to come. Now, this should be a lot easier. We've got the money to make this happen. I'm once again going to put, say, Dean Henderson in this deal. Chuck in about 70 million and see what they say. 77, it works. Let's get it done. What a signing, boys. We're getting one of the elite keepers in this sport. Euro winner, Gianluigi Donnarumma, joins the likes of Cedinho and Pedri on this project. Come on. There you go, boys. This team is complete. It is too freaking good. It is legit too freaking good. Let's win the Champions League now. It's time to see if Cedinho's boys at Manchester United can get the job done in the Champions League. We've drawn Marseille in the round of 16 and boom, we destroy them. Second leg should be a cakewalk as well. The job was already done. Ooh, we lost the game, but I think overall we should be through. And so we've knocked out Marseille into the quarterfinal goes Cedinho's boys and yeah, we're against Atletico Madrid. Cedinho, I'll take even press conference answers right before the big Champions League night. Is this a close game to call? I think we can do it. 
right, guys. Cedinho, Mr. Overconfident, but he's ready for this. Okay, this first leg's gonna be so important. It's so frustrating I can't play any of the games. I'm saving it for the Champions League final, but hopefully we get there, boys. Hopefully, but the first leg, we need to beat Atleti, and it's <laughs> a one-all draw. Everything down to the second leg. Second leg against Atletico at home. These guys are always juiced, man, in the Champions League, but let's knock them out. We've got the team to do it, but can we do it? Oh my god, we've done it on penalties. It took me a second to realize. 4-4 on the second leg. Penalties. That is wild. That is wild. On we go to the Champions League semifinals. And it's AC Milan in the Champions League semifinals. Bro, it could possibly be PSG in the final or Pep Guardiola's Man City. Cedinho could be up against PSG, a club he's had a bit of a rivalry with since the start. Up against Mbappe. Or it could be up against Pep Guardiola. But first, need to get through AC Milan. All right, boys. First leg against AC Milan. Donnarumma is playing against this former club, by the way. But our team is good enough to win this. But it's only a draw. Can Cedinho FC make a Champions League final? That's the real question. And yet it's on penalties. We've been frauding our way. Winning on penalties twice. But Cedinho United is in the Champions League final. We need a petition to have Cedinho's statue outside Old Trafford, man. He's just their greatest ever manager. Unfortunately, Cedinho couldn't win the Premier League with Manchester United. But it doesn't matter. He could win the ultimate prize, the Champions League. And it's against PSG, the club where he really, really got tormented in his first season with Montpellier and all. But now he could deny them a Champions League. Cedinho has just tweeted this. If I win the Champions League as a manager, that's football completed for me. And you can't really deny it. Time to retire from management and find a new challenge. But of course, it depends if Cedinho United can beat Mbappe, too many, Rudiker, and all these guys at PSG to the Champions League. I don't see any other lineup for this game. This has got to be our best 11. Let's win this. Why are we using our away kit? The red kit, of course. Oh, we've got the first chance. We've got the first chance. Oh, it's a rocket, but it's wide. Oh, go on then, Martin Erdegaard. Lovely ball out wide for Sancho. We need to see a dribbling. We need to see the dribbling of Sancho. He's done really well. Oh, he's passed it into the back of the end. Cedinho might be winning a Champions League as a manager and joining the likes of Zinedine Zidane as one of the only managers to have won both the Champions League as a player and as a manager. But the job is not done yet. Because freaking killing Mbappe has got a penalty. He's going to score, isn't he? Oh, Mbappe. Oh, Mbappe. Killing Mbappe, of course. Cedinho's teammate at the World Cup. They won the World Cup together, but now he's ruining Cedinho's night. Although Sancho has something to say about it. He's going all by himself. Still Sancho. He's got to square this. He does. Easy. It's a simple tap in for Rambo. And there you go. We get the lead again. No Mbappe. No Mbappe. Stop it. No. He scored again. Mbappe is just inevitable. Is this actually going to pens? I think it is. You, you can't be kidding me. No way is this going to penalties. Cedinho could win the Champions League as a manager, but we need to get through PSG on penalties. What even? And Mbappe just never misses. Oh, he's missed. This is a good sign. Mbappe has missed this penalty. We need to score ours. Araujo, I'm going top corner. Boom, what a pen. We've got the advantage. Rodrigo missed his penalty for Brazil. But this one was unstoppable. What is Jaden Sancho going to do? I think I'm going to go left. Oh, come on. It's 1-1 now. We need them to miss. We need them to Easy. miss. And they do miss. Anthony, you've got that Brazilian flair. Put this one top bins. There you go. Angel Gomez against this former club. Slots it home. We've got the advantage now. Martin Odegaard, you need to score this. You need to score this. And it's a lovely penalty. Okay, if we can save this from Musiala... We win the Champions League. Oh, that's a rocket of a pen. I wish Cedinho could come on now and take this penalty, but that's not how this sport works. Guardiol gets to take a Champions League winning penalty. Can he put it home? He's bloody missed it. What a prat. He's missed. Are you actually kidding me? That was our chance. But Renan Lodi has missed as well. Hakimi now has a chance to win the Champions League for Cedinho. He's got to do it. He's got to do it. Hakimi has to do it. And he puts it home just like he did for Morocco in real life. Cedinho has won the Champions League as a manager. Bro, where's Cedinho? Why is the manager not lifting the trophy? He should be lifting the trophy before the players. Where's Cedinho? Go. Anyway, Cedinho has completed his arc at Man United. He flopped there as a player. But as a manager, he's won them the Champions League. The question now is, what is next for Cedinho? After winning the Champions League, this is what Cedinho has tweeted. It's time to invest in a football 
Football Club at S2G FC. Could we be seeing the return of S2G FC? I'll keep you all up to date. And that's that for Cedinho's journey as a player, as a manager. It's time to end this series, but it'll still continue in a way. If you enjoyed it, if you want to show your support, I'd appreciate it if you could like the video. Subscribe as well. Big things are coming your way.